So this uh, document is uh, indentation. <clears throat> so basically we have um, tip, which is made of diamond. It's a Berkovich tip. And we, we use it to do some indentation on a subtract, which is made of fused quartz, so very, very hard. So I wanted to extract a profile to figure out about the depth of the hole of the, in that case, a pyramid. And based on that, we can assume some hardness and uh, maybe the surface is elastic. So maybe the surface is, is the form is, is recovering after the indentation. So let's see what we can do with mountains. So first of all, we can see that we have five measurements at different forms. And on the first one, on the next page, on the first one, I can extract a profile. So we know how to do that. And I did use a contour analysis um, to analyze some geometry on the profile. So it's angle. And you can see the angle here is uh, 138 degrees. So I was uh, surprised. So I did the same analysis on another surface and I, I got 139 degrees again. So it's uh, relevant. So it's relevant because the Belkovich tip, the angle is uh, expected to be between 137 and 142. So interesting to see that angle is, um, can be measured with a contour analysis. So the contour analysis can measure some points, diameter, radius, angles, and so on. So we can use it also to assume the hardness, the stiffness of the surface with some formula. So if you, if you know that distance, HC, for example, here, with some math, you can calculate the stiffness of, on the surface. So it's very interesting to see that if I click on the contour, I have a lot of information and I can construct um, a way to calculate angles and distances. And then based on the results, if we apply the, the formula, we can assume that uh, hardness is 72 gigapascal, which is looks relevant. So still with the indentation, um, I think, okay, we have uh, several, um, several surfaces. So it would be interesting to put all of them together and see a stack view here. So again, I hope the 3D view on my screen is still uh, viewable for you. And since we have a lot of information, a lot of several surfaces, we can do what we call a cinema. It's a 4D analysis. So you can see the same. So I, I just did a alignment of all the surfaces together. And actually I was surprised to see if I zoom in, there is a kind of a bottom here. And it's probably due to the um, range, the Z range limit, or maybe to the, to the tip could be both uh, the size of the tip that could not fit into the hole. So in the next page, I wanted to highlight this phenomenon with some colors. So I asked the um, palette here to focus all the color range on the back on the um, on the bottom here. And I even asked the software to do some kind of interpolation so that we have not just five surfaces, but 50. So yes, it's in population, but at least you have a, a very nice um, animated view so that you can zoom in, move and see inside. And thanks to the color, you can see the information of the phenomenon at the bottom. So that's interesting to see. <clears throat> 